Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, recently, I've started a new playlist uh, that is IGPU CCH. So, under that, I've spoken about a uh, couple of uh, concepts. Uh, uh, but today's topic of discussion is how does long TCCH format improve coverage? Okay. So, as the name says, long means it travels a longer distance. And also, we have short formats, which means uh, uh, those who travel for a shorter distance. So especially in long formats, we have format 1, format 3 and format 4. Let us try to see in format 1, how is it improving the coverage? And then I will make a comment on format 3 on how it is improving the coverage so that it will be clear for you guys. In the earlier videos, I have mainly spoken about the format 1. So we will try to go a little bit in deeper with respect to format 1 to understand how it is improving the coverage. Okay. Before that, I want to talk about an important basic concept that is power is inversely related to square of the distance which means as the distance increase power reduces basically we have taken pucch uh, format right which means the signal would be traveling from uv to the base station in the uplink direction so if the signal travels longer distance then it it gets more weaker and weaker right so basically at the receiver side we have a weak signal and if this weak signal is pretty much close to the noise floor then it will be very much difficult to recover uh, recover the information but uh, if you have a mechanism at the receiver end uh, that uh, if we can improve the SNR then we can recover back the signal so let us try to see whether such a kind of mechanism is available with long formats and how we can improve the SNR and things like that okay so for that what I will do based on my earlier uh, explanation in, in earlier videos I will get into the concept of uh, this OFDM grid where I was talking about the allocation of data and DMRS for PUCCH format 1. Um, so here format 1 occupies 12 subcarriers and its uh, number of symbols can be um, anything from uh, 4 to 14. Okay, I have taken the maximum which is 14 symbols. Uh, uh, so, so I have uh, I have already created the OFDM grid. In this OFDM grid, the first subcarrier occupies signal Y of zero, the second subcarrier occupies Y of one, and the twelfth subcarrier Y of eleven. Right. So, this in this what do we have? We have data D of zero and uh, this uh, the sample generated uh, from the sequence uh, R U V of eleven for this particular one. So, but here one thing to to note down is we have information worth only uh, 12 subcarriers okay so these 12 samples are different but we have got how many we have got uh, 14 symbols so this is occupied in just one symbol what about in the remaining symbols so in the remaining symbols the same thing is replicated as you can see here the same thing is replicated uh, on other symbols as well so basically the symbol 1, 3, 5, 6, 7, wherever we have this green data, all of them have the same information. So the same information is repeated, which means uh, uh, there is a more redundancy. So this gives more robustness uh, uh, to your channel conditions. Uh, so, so at the receiver end, since we have the same data replicated uh, seven times across seven symbols, we can perform um, what is called averaging. Okay, averaging can be performed seven times uh, and this averaging improves the SNR. Okay, that's why since it is, uh, since we have a mechanism to improve the SNR, this would travel for a longer distance. And uh, as we all know, by performing average, averaging, why does it improve the SNR? Because uh, the, it reduces the noise power. Okay, so that is again one more basic concept uh, which I have already spoken in uh, interview questions. So you can go and uh, check that one. But um, by performing the average, averaging, the noise power reduces and hence uh, it improves the SNR. And this SNR improvement is very good as in when we have more number of redundancy. So for 14 symbols, we will have a very better uh, um, redundancy and hence uh, it is. Uh, it is able to travel for a longer distance. I think for format one, it is clear. So what I will do, I will uh, get into the concept of a format three. Uh, and uh, try to explain uh, or try to give a small uh, a detail about how that is improving uh, the SNR. Okay, so in case of format 3, uh, this P, the processing is similar to that of PUSCH, okay, uh, which means that depending upon the size of a format 3, uh, you see a bit, so, so it will perform encoding, rate matching, and things like that. So basically, here we will use something what is called as code red. 
okay this code rate can be as low as possible uh, depending upon the size of uh, of uh, depending upon the number of symbols which we will be using and the moment we use very low code rate which means we can introduce more redundancy more redundancy means uh, we can try to replicate the data as much as possible and the more the replication or more the repetition uh, we can perform um, more averaging at the receiver end and hence um, the sner improves at the receiver uh, so that's why even in format 3 as well it improves the coverage let's say for example format 3 occupies uh, two prvs okay so and let's say we have the information uh, that can occupy over two prvs which means 24 sub carriers right but uh, we will take 14 symbols so then what happens um, 14 symbols means 14 into uh, we have we have uh, 24 sub carriers so but, but in this 14 let's say two are occupied by dmrs so finally we have only 12 so then uh, 12 into 24 so this is 240 and uh, 48 so 288 uh, uh, sub carriers or haris uh, we, we are having but out of which only 24 are having the useful information so in the remaining 264 arrays we can just uh, replicate the data okay depending upon the code rate which we are using we can just replicate the data and uh, then we can ensure that uh, uh, there is a more redundancy and more repetition and uh, which can help uh, which can help the receiver to perform better averaging and uh, and get the enhanced snr by that way you know format three also improves the coverage i think with format one and format three you got the clarity how long these usage formats are uh, improving the coverage mm. so with this i will wind up the video so i will try to bring in more concepts in the upcoming videos uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel thank you very much have a great day bye bye